Hi everyone. If you have been using your Gmail address to sign up for services on third-party websites or apps for many years and have never changed your passwords for those websites, it's good to check if your Gmail address and login credentials for those websites have been breached and leaked to the dark web. To see if your Gmail address and some of your login credentials are on the dark web, if you're on a PC, open your web browser and go to google.com. Click the Google Apps button and then click Account. If you have logged in to your Google account from this browser before, you will be directly brought to your Google account page. Otherwise, click Go to Google account and then log in using your Gmail address. If you are on an Android phone, open your Gmail app, tap your profile picture at the top right corner of the screen, and then tap Manage your Google account. On your Google account page, click or tap the Security tab. On the Security tab, scroll down and look for See if your email address is on the dark web. Then click or tap Run a scan with Google One. Click or tap Run scan on the following page. If your Gmail address is found on the dark web, Google will show you a summary of all those data breaches with that email address. For example, in my case here, Google found 10 data breaches with my email address on the dark web. If I click View All Results, Google will show me the list of all those 10 data breaches. And as you can see for an example here, my email address, username, and name for house.com have been leaked to the dark web. And if I click this list item, Google will show me the more detailed info that have been leaked, including when they were found on the dark web. All right. So what should we do if our email address and login credentials are found on the dark web? The first and the least thing we can do is to immediately change our passwords for those websites or apps. It is also very important to make sure that your passwords are strong enough, meaning that it consists of a combination of uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters. In addition to that, deleting your accounts on those third-party websites or apps could also be an option if you don't need them anymore to prevent any misuse of that account. And as for your Gmail account, it is highly recommended that you set up a two-factor authentication for added security level. Alright, that's all for now. I hope you find this information useful, and thank you for watching.